Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Milwaukee at the World of Wheels. If you want to see a great World of Wheels show, look in the description of this text of this video and you can see the website and come to a great World of Wheels show. Today I'm with Lewis. Lewis, your last name? Paul Baresny. And Lewis has a great car. It's one of those cars you rarely see. What year make and model is this one? 1969 Ford Talladega. You're going to enjoy this one if you like the Fords. Well, this one's got all that NASCAR history. Come right alongside me, Lewis. And let's take a look at your Ford Talladega. Now, this is all the correct car. Granted, the paint color is not correct. It's not a Ford blue. But those of you who know I'm a Ford blue car fan, this is a great car. So let's take a look. Now, why did you have to get this Talladega? How, first of all, how long have you had it? I bought it uh, May 2022. So just a little under a year. Yes. Good color. I was searching for cars. Always buying and selling cars. Is that right? Bleed Ford Blue. <laughs> Saw this. <laughs> had to have it. What makes you bleed Ford Blue? Uh, since I've been 16 years old, my first car was a 64 and a half Fastback Mustang. Ooh, yes, poppy, right from poppy the red right from the beginning. Wow, it's okay. The car my father gave so me. So one of the original cars. Let's go on this side of the car so we can keep videoing that. We'll come on this side and we'll take a look at that. Got to step back just a bit. The, the nose is actually extended on this car, as you can see. So let's come closer to the car. There are a few cues that it's a Talladega, and the biggest cue, well, is the big T right there. That is great. Now, where did you first see this car? I actually saw the car on Facebook. You saw it on Facebook. You knew it was unique. You knew it was rare. Gotta love this roof line. Look at the windshield, or the rear window, not the windshield. It's got these great haunches, and it's all built for NASCAR. Now, tell me the story about the Talladega. How many did they build and why? They built uh, 750. They had to build 500 to uh, let them race the car yeah. in NASCAR. Okay, so they built 750. Well, we've got some trunk and treats for you in here. Right off the bat, we've got, can you pull that out for just a second? Sure. We've got the, the model, the special edition, the Ford Torino Talladega in the correct color blue, but this is the all important Marty, Marty Report. Report. So there's the the 69 Cobra. And there's the Kevin Marty information. So the bottom line is, it's the real deal. Yes, All right, we'll is. put that back. All right, so here we have Ford wins Virginia 500, Torino Talladega's Fish 1 and 2. And this, as you can see, is the GT version in this, although it does have that hood like that there. All right, we'll put that one back. And let's show these next brochures. Now, I don't think I've ever seen this. That's pretty cool. Specifically, I'm gonna grab just your, there you go. Let people just read that. I'll pause for a moment so you can pause it on your computer. The big T. There's your nose. I'll let you read that. And that. And I'll hold this and you flip there. Perfect. And the stats for the Talladega. The 428. And that's a good trunk and treat. We're gonna put that, I'm gonna let you hold that. <laughs> there we go, we'll put it back. Because these are the documents. This is pretty much the same thing. Yeah, same thing, it was just folded in half. Got it. All right, we'll put that back. Thank you, we'll save some time. Let me just do one other thing. Your jack information, your tire. All right, we want to pull that out. There's an, an original tire from this car. Is that right? Yes. 
the Polyglass G70. Can you just pop that out for just a second? I want to show people. Uh, there is the... Four, no, don't take it out, no, but just okay. let me show them. That's the actual correct color. Presidential blue. Presidential blue. What's the color on this one? This is uh, four deep impact blue. Got it. All right, we'll close that. You can open up the interior there. So as we open it up, large door greeted by your information there of this Ford. And then also we've got the Talladega there, the bench seat. As you can see, I'm just going to step right where you're at to show them the bench seat. We come back here, your back seat, and take a look at Lewis trying to clean that back window. Yes. Your arm would not fit that long. That is a lot of space for this car. Automatic. Did they have them in manual or were, nope. they, were they? Yeah, they were all automatics. Something tells me that I do remember that. I like lights on the dash? Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead. That's a great idea. Let's put the lights on the dash. Oh, that is super. I love that color. We well, upgraded that to LEDs, so it's brighter than factory. Okay. Well, that sure looks cool, I'll tell Another you that. thing I did to the car yeah. is I added an aftermarket cruise control without disrupting anything of the body. I immediately took the car to... Uh, Detroit for the um, Woodward Dream Cruise. Yeah. Drove it there from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Drove Very it nice. Flawlessly. That was a great idea turning on the lights. Because that really looks cool seeing the dash lit up like that with the instrumentation. All right, let's open you the might, hood, shall we? No, go take ahead. a picture of uh, the hood release, which uh, these cars. Are the only ones that had it. Okay. Inside hood release. Right there. All right. Beautiful. Anything else I need to know? Uh, the hood, just uh, maybe that the hood release uh, was taken from a 1960s Lincoln and made to fit this car. Is that right? Yes. Okay, let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Now, the one thing I remember on the front of the car is that... Uh, that's kind of interesting too where the park lights are. Those are Econoline van marker lights. You know, I don't know if I've ever featured those lights being on, so it was really kind of cool that we turned those on because you wouldn't think about that, that they're back there, but that's where they're actually at. Wow, okay. So there's our 428. That really looks good. That takes you right back to that time frame. And she performs as designed. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Now they extended the nose. Yes. They cut it off right about here at the core support. Okay. And then uh, hand built these pieces. Yeah. They did. I believe they did one car, and then they did uh, the rest of them all. Yeah. And then the cars actually came down the line. And they uh, put the nose put on. the nose on. Wow, cool. So, is this a, a transmission cooler? Uh, notice the engine oil cooler. Engine oil cooler. Got it. It's going to feature a few badges there. It'll feature that one there. The all important 428 cubic inch. I like that you have the auto light battery giving it all the proper looks. And that's not just a cover on here, it's a repo battery. Really? And the auto light information there. Well, you can see how deep that is. Mountain Dew can in there. <laughs> <laughs> Straight from Ford. All right, let's. It's a conversation uh, it piece. is a conversation piece. Let's fire it up, shall okay. we? Okay. Notice that piece right there. 
opens and closes too. Let's close the hood, let's button her up, and we'll turn the lights off for a second. Well, what a great car. I'm so glad we got the chance to meet each other, and so yes. glad that we're going to share this on the channel with the Globe. Lewis, what a treat, this Talladega. Thanks so much for being on the channel. No problem. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Have a safe day. Thanks.